Thanks, Rebecca. It's not only me. Because <laughs> I've got, uh, starting from my right, I've got Kimberly, Rosalie, Aiden, Daniel, and Joe again, who we met before. Now, Joe, this mob here are from 6 8 St. Kevin's, is that right? From Year 6, that's right, yes. Now, can you tell us a little bit what you've done? OK, we've made a time capsule video which shows the way of life of Australia in 1988. And that video will then be stored in the National Archives in Canberra and released in 2001 for Federation. So what's the purpose of releasing it then? Um, in 2001, there's these, the centenary of Federation, so there'll be celebrations just like for our bicentennial year. So uh, it will then be transferred to the latest technology, such as laser disc, and then uh, stored again till 2088. And they'll probably add smell -a vision to it as they well. probably will, yes. Now, all you guys were involved in the project, weren't you? Yes. Yes. How did you find it? Now, we'll start with you, Aidan. How did you find it? We started off doing videos with Miss Serena, who was a teacher at our school, and we've decided that since it is Australia's bicentenary, we are doing something for the kids of Australia's tricentenary to remember us by and how their ancestors lived and worked. All oh, right. Well, I think what we should do before we chat to everybody else is have a look at some of your stuff that's going in the time capsule, OK? I'm Daniel Johnston. And I'm Catherine Carpenter. The school captains of St Kevin's School Eastwood in Sydney. You have just travelled back in time to Australia, 1988. A recent survey undertaken by our class has shown that the soap opera Home and Away is our most popular Australian television program, while Neighbours won the top honours at this year's TV Week Logie Awards. These people are the stars from Neighbours on Network 10. We decided to share with you our school fate, an event we all look forward to for months. The best thing about a fate, besides raising money for the school to buy equipment, is that it's the best way to have fun with your friends and a great local community get together. Hello, this is Bob Hawke. 1988 is an important year for Australia. By creating a time capsule as a way of marking 1988, the students and staff of St Kevin's School have made an important contribution to the bicentenary. This project is an excellent example of how local communities have entered into the spirit of our bicentennial year. And to those of you who open this capsule and hear this message, greetings. I send you my best wishes and those of the people and the government of Australia in 1988. Hey, wow, what was it like having the big cheese on your video? How'd you organise that? Oh, I've got some high contacts in Australia. Oh, uh, have you? You got know a few people, do you, Joe? I sure do. Oh, maybe we could uh, chat a little bit after the show and maybe right. you can put me onto a few of them. Yeah. Now, uh, can you guys tell me the different roles that the, you students played in making the film? Rosalie? Well, I done the Homes and Food, which isn't done yet, but it's going to be done next week. Right. And I'm talking about a certain food called Kentucky Fried Chicken, and in the future they probably won't even have that. Right. What about you, Kimberly? Well, I talk about um, technology. Right. And the video recorders we have, um, TV, and plenty of other things that we use today. OK, what, what would you like people in the future to get from this um, time capsule? What about you, Daniel? You haven't said anything yet. Um, I'd like them just to know what we were like and um, how we lived so that um, they can look back to us and think, oh, they're, they're um, pretty good culture. They look do you think things will change a lot? You know, do you think there'll be a lot of changes when, when they open the time capsule? Oh, yes. Um, I think there'll be lots of changes. Uh, like what? Like... Uh, as we said before, the laser disc yeah. or something like that. Um, technology will go, will have an uh, enormous boost. And um, how old will you be when it's open? Uh, oh, oh. Quick, come on, add it up. Uh, add 13 on, 12 or 13 on. 111. You'll be 111. Really? I, th I don't think your maths right there, Daniel. Okay. <laughs> now, where are you going to store this material? Um, hmm? We're going to store it in the um, National Film Archives in Canberra. Oh, right, right. I, I know all about... You know they've got Richie Ditch down in Canberra on the, on the uh, film archives? Hmm, it's true. Me. I'm popular. I'm down there. Go and see me anytime you like. 
Now, your school has a good record in student filmmaking. Um, you've got a couple of awards there to show us, haven't you? Yes. Can you, can you turn around and grab them, Kimberly? They're just next to you, are they? No, they're... Where are they? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Now, what's this for? Uh, well, that's the Penguin Award, which um, St Kevin's won last year for the Runaway Kids. Right. And Mr Arena directed and produced that one. Right, what's the other one? What's the other award that you've got there? The other one's the Pato Award, which was a worldwide award, and we got that award this year for last year. All right. Well, well, thank you very much for coming in and showing us that, and, and good luck with it. I hope you win an award for this time capsule. OK, Jay, seeing you did so well before, do you want to do what you did last time again now, please? Sure. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Yeah, for... Uh... Yeah. 